growing winter sport in all of North America is snowing. And here in Bossier, Manitoba, where it all began. The district, for years, has been enthusiastic about the snowmobile, or as it is better known in these parts, the power toboggan. Early in the 30s, Mike Bozak of Broken Head converted a Model T into a snowmobile, and later, with the arrival of air-cooled engines, built a small track-driven toboggan with short steering skis, the first power toboggan. In February 1963, the first Canadian Power Toboggan Championships were held here with 15 drivers competing. Today, seven years later, 170 drivers are competing for the many trophies and $2,300 in prize money. The feature race is the Canadian 800, 10 laps around a rugged half-mile course, and the ultimate test for driver and machine. The racing pits in any motorsport have a good deal in common, whether it's sports cars, drags, or power toboggans. Here at Bosager, the drivers are trying to fight off pre-race tension with some friendly conversation with other crews and by last-minute adjustments to their machines. Most of these power toboggans have 600 cc engines, putting out from 50 to 60 horsepower. And when you consider that the stock engines, the ones you see in the showroom, are rated at just over 30 horsepower, you know that race tuning has come to the power toboggan scene. Gem is to toboggans what Weber is to sports car carburation. And you'll see a lot of tuned exhausts here, too. The modification rules aren't spelled out very closely in this sport, so your budget is your limit. The same goes for fuels. And there's a lot of alcohol in these gas tanks, and who knows, perhaps even some nitro. And you've noticed that the sport has its own racing clothes, as you can see. Power toboggan racing is nearly out of knee pants and into the big leagues. This is Connie Gavaga of uh, Transcona, one of the qualifiers in the big event. Connie, what do you think of this wide open half mile track? Uh, it's, uh, I gotta say it's one of the best we've ever run on. This is a real beautiful track. Why is it so good? Uh, basically because it's, they had safety in mind, I think, when they built it. Uh, without, with these big corners, we can see, we're coming off the end of the straightaway pretty hot. We can see somebody dumps or anything. This, this, this is a big thing. When you're going 80, you don't like chicanes. Uh, you better believe it. It's pretty tight and it's dangerous. This is a basic thing. How does this track compare to some of the other uh, tighter courses you've run in Saskatchewan, say, this year? Uh, well, there's no comparison. This is just, this is the elite of the courses. There's no two ways about that. This is the big men's final. Ten laps around this half-mile track for a total prize money. First prize, $1,000. The favorites, Ray Beck of Charleswood, Roger Taylor of Headingley, Bob Stinn, the B.C. champion from Vernon, B.C., Bob Palin of Minnesota, Ed Schindel of Beausajour, the Manitoba champion. Here they come. What a race! And it's Ray Beck of Charleswood into the lead in the first corner. Ray Beck of Charleswood followed by... Don Stinn of BC, Bob Palin of Three River Falls, Minnesota. A great start for the Canadian men's final in the 551 to 800 cc class. Total prize money, $1,000. Roger Taylor of Headingley, one of the Manitoba racers, is in first place, followed by Ray Beck of Charleswood. Two laps have gone in this men's final. Ten laps total. Thousand dollars prize money riding on the line here. As Roger Taylor of Headingley leads, followed by Ray Beck. And then Alan Fanset. Rather surprising in the opening laps of this big race that three Manitoba drivers should be one, two, three. Taylor, Beck, and Fancet, all of Manitoba. This is an international field with competitors from Minnesota and BC as well.
fifth lap, Drama as Ray Beck has taken the lead from Roger Taylor. And Alan Fancett, the third man, lost it in the curve. So the order now is Ray Beck of Charleswood, followed by Roger Taylor of Headingley. Still all Manitoba in this thousand dollar race. <laughs> And now the last lap of the men's Canadian final. There have been so many spin-outs, it'll be hard to identify the winners for you. All the early leaders are out of the race. Ray Beck of Charleswood and Roger Taylor of Headingley. But here come the winners now. Number 66, a last-minute qualifier, wins Alan Fancett of Winnipeg. Then we should look for number 18. Yes, Bob Palin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. He's second. And third, number 85, hometown driver Ed Schindel of Beausager. So the three big winners of the men's Canadian final Alan Fancett of Winnipeg, Bob Palin of Thief River Falls, and Ed Schindel of Beausager, and the new Canadian men's champion, Alan Fancett of Winnipeg. Just stand there and talk to him. Yeah. Alan Fancett of Winnipeg is the 1969 Canadian Power Toboggan champion. Alan, how about that race in its final stages? Can you talk us through it? Well, it was, it was toss-up in the first few laps up to about the eighth lap. Talio was ahead and then it, uh, Ray Beck was ahead and then Ray Beck flipped and then I pulled into the lead and finished it first. You just barely got into this race. You qualified at the last minute. Did you think you'd be this far up in the race itself? No, when I started out today I didn't think I was going to go too far. Uh, the one I finished on one cylinder in my qualifying heat and I still made first but only by luck. How long have you been racing and what kind of a machine do you drive? Well, I've been racing for four years now and this is my second year in Arctic Cat. I think race tuning is uh, the big difference these days in all competitive motorsport. Uh, how well is your machine tuned and by whom? It's one of the best tuned and it's tuned by Louis Caron. Do you compete a lot uh, across the country and where? Well, no, mostly around in uh, all the towns in Manitoba and that. Where is the thousand going to go into uh, well, the... There's been no decision on that where that goes yet. Uh, if there is such a thing as a world championship coming up, uh, would you like to compete in it? Yeah, but those are a long time off, I guess, for me. What was the greatest moment uh, in this race for you? As, was there any moment you knew you were leading? No, when I seen him, seen him go over, then I was, that was the greatest moment. Thank you very much, and congratulations, Alan Fanson. Thank you.